A few months ago, at the very top of a 9,000 foot mountain, in a remote part of Nepal, this hospital looked like this. Because of its isolation, this community has no electricity, meaning that local doctors have no access to proper medical equipment and often had to perform surgeries and complex procedures in the dark using only a flashlight and very basic tools. If more complex care was needed, it would take hours to walk to a better medical facility. These limitations have resulted in many fatalities and miscarriages. So our long-term partners Give Power, who we have worked with in three previous Beast Philanthropy videos, asked Dan and Darren to join them on a trek to the village of Kalaguen to help them solve this problem, where they were given an incredibly warm welcome in undoubtedly one of the most beautiful places on Earth. On the first morning, Darren met up with a local Give Power engineer named Sanjay, who told him a tragic story about Nira, a woman from the village who had previously lost her baby due to the freezing temperatures and lack of appropriate medical facilities and equipment. She had to travel in the monsoon roads to the nearest birthing center, and then since the birthing center was far away, she couldn't reach the birthing center and had to lose the baby. And due to a lack of government funding, this hospital would not get electricity until at least 2030. If the hospital was up and running with the burning facility, the case with her would have been completely different. Darren knew we had to act fast to prevent this from happening again, so he also met Melissa, the founder of the Green Program, who brought a bunch of incredible students and volunteers to help finish this massive project. When I was younger, I was visiting my family in Malaysia. It was the first time I saw the ocean. It was the first time I saw the reef. I and mean, it was really the first time where I realized that if we had the opportunity to show people the beauty of nature and the world, it really unlocks something that makes us want to protect it too. So we've essentially taken students from all over the world who care so deeply about making an impact and being able to expose our future generations to different perspectives is a way that we believe can really make the world a better place. After meeting Sanjay and Melissa, Darren was more inspired than ever before to get to work by installing a solar array and batteries to power the new hospital, as well as provide all the equipment to outfit a safe and modern birthing center to serve this vulnerable community. Okay, we're ready for day one. Three, two, one. So the team was beyond excited to get to work. We're gonna dig down. At the end of the first day, the team managed to finish all the digging and wiring. I can't really put my finger on it, but there is something about the people in this village. Their authenticity, their friendliness and their openness has made me feel part of their families in just a few days. As we walked up to this house, somebody ran inside and he lit a fire and there's smoke coming out and we didn't know what was going on, but he went to go grow some tea. This is Himalayan black tea with ginger and it is really the best tea I've ever had in my entire life. This is the culture over here. These people are incredibly kind and welcoming and everywhere you go they want to take care of us. They have literally opened up their houses and given us a bedroom in their house so that Dan and I have a comfortable place to stay. But not long after the construction began, Dan started to feel ill. I feel like super sick so I've got to go over to the local post to get checked out. Which means he can experience firsthand just how difficult it is to get treated in such a remote location. As you can see everything's locked up here and that's the harsh reality is if you're severely ill in the village nearby you'd have to make a seven hour trek to get to the closest big facility that can help. Fortunately there was a nurse on site that was able to see him. This is Karuna, a nurse in the local town of Kalaguan. She's come to help me. But because there is no electricity, she can only do a very basic checkup. She came to the conclusion that Dan had... Gati. Gati. Yeah. I've got Gati, bro. It's a rare <laughs> disease. Actually, it's just a minor oh, yeah. cold. <laughs> But for a community this size, there are often far more serious situations that require an immediate and comprehensive treatment that just are not available. With so much riding on this project, the team were already feeling the intense pressure. So while Dan got some rest, they continued with the construction. Supporting structure was built, we could begin installing the solar panel. Because
Because of the team's hard work, we were now ahead of schedule. So Darren took the time to find out more about Sanjay. When I was working and repeating the comments in the upper Himalayas, we find out uh, this village with no leak city at all. And then when we get here, I saw a baby was there in a wooden box, you know, and then there was a light bulb on, you know, hitting it. And suddenly it popped my mind and I think this kind of equipment can be, you know, built by ourselves. And after that, I found a team out here in Nepal. And then we were able to make a baby warmer and we call it Nano Nani in Nepali. That means a warm child. Nano Nani became such a success that it won a People's Choice Award in the USA. I think it's a dream come true for me because the vision is like to, you know, to build this kind of warmer and then to aware the people about the significance in remote settings and the remote hospital like this in the background. Realizing the life-saving importance of simple medical equipment, Darren decided to surprise Sanjay by buying 10 more baby warmers that he could give to other communities and similar needs. Sanjay, um, I want to buy another 10 of those baby warmers from you and let you just go give it to whatever hospitals or communities need them. And thank you very much, Darren. It means a lot for me and the team. It, it, it feels unreal. With only one day remaining, we were so close to finishing the construction. And the whole team gathered to sign the final solar panel. And Darren had the honor of tightening the final bolt. Together we turned a broken building with no electricity into a fully operational hospital that will service over 16,000 people in this community. I have so much gratitude for the fact that we are able to come in here and give them a gift that will make a meaningful difference to these people for generations to come. It's getting close to nightfall now and it's nearly time to surprise the community and I can't wait. The whole village came to the hospital to witness the lights turn on for the first time. Are you ready? Now she's very much optimistic that no one has to go through what she went through. She's very happy and grateful for the bathing facility over here. Namaste. Before the final surprise, I want to say a huge thanks to a sponsor this video, the best food on the planet, not Feastables, Kellogg's, for just this time being because they're helping us help people. From today until June 31st, 2024, Kellogg's is teaming up with Minecraft to give you free exclusive character creator items. Like this, a camel hat, an axolotl hat, and a cherry blossom dress. To use in-game when you buy any participating specially marked boxes of Kellogg's cereal. Like these, Kellogg's Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Apple Jacks, and Corn Pops. The aim is to collect all three character creator items. And on top of all of this, Minecraft and Kellogg's have partnered with the Armour Day Foundation. Armour Day is the same foundation that helped us do team trees. And they're planting 250,000 trees and for some great need in the USA. That's pretty epic. Click the link in the description to find out more as well as check out all the terms and conditions. Okay, Feastables, I'm sorry for cheating on you. But I gotta do what I gotta do to help people. Thank you, Kellogg's, for sponsoring this video. Hey, right, let's get back into it. When speaking to Sanjay, we found out that although he is Nepalese, he has never been to Everest. And it has always been a dream of his to see the massive mountain. So on the last morning, we decided to surprise him with a once in a lifetime trip. We're so close to Everest, it just made sense that we go visit it. We took Sanjay to the highest point on Everest that a helicopter could reach. The air was so thin, Darren, Dan, and Sanjay were only allowed to spend two minutes up there, or they could get hypoxia from lack of oxygen. Darren and I are at the highest point we've ever been together. I can't believe it's happening. Seeing Everest literally brought Sanjay to his knees with emotion. It's so overwhelming. It's a for me to come here and see the Everest. Again, I just want to thank our partners at Give Power and the Green Program for making this project possible. Obviously, a lot goes into making these projects, and so if you want to learn more about it, Dan actually made a behind-the-scenes video that you can click the link in the description to go watch. This is what happens behind the scenes on a beast philanthropy shoot. Enjoy. Clap your thing. We got it. <laughs> I've noticed you guys click off at the end of the video, so this time when I talk, there'll be a cat video playing. 
so you actually keep watching while I say 100% of all the ad revenue and all of just the revenue in general we make off this video goes to Beast Relates to Be. So as always, by watching this video, you're allowing us to help people. Please go watch more videos and subscribe right now or you just hate helping people.